everybody. Um, so I've been looking at uh, Gatsby papers uh, revisions and I'm still seeing a lot of people who seem to be very confused about citation. Um, and so I thought I'd just kind of take a look at a student paper that was turned in. Um, this is a rough draft DSO Logoi. Uh, and this is somebody who's done most of the things that I would expect to do um, when citing. So uh, let's kind of take a look at, at this paper. Um, and so what I'm going to do, I'm going to look pretty quickly at the beginning of your paper. I'm just going to check everybody's like this. I'm going to start counting and looking at what's in your footnotes, because what should be in your footnotes is a reference to where you've gotten information, right? So uh, just a reminder. I'm reading this uh, not so many years ago. The argument whether interrelationship, interracial relationships were appropriate was discussed daily. Okay, so that person has decided this information is important. It came from a source that sources inappropriate relationships and the unconventional and dis, uh, disapproved and the forbidden. Okay, now just so you know, I would really like the name of the author here. Okay, that's actually what should go here is just the name of the author, last name, comma, first name. But at least I know exactly what source this is. Okay, so I don't mind this, but technically we should have the name of the author. Maybe in a perfect world we have the name of the author and the name of the piece. Okay, so again, I'm just going through. I'm looking at the citations to make sure the citations are right. Otherwise, I'm going to bounce this paper back, right, which you really don't want after you've spent 12 weeks working on it and going through a peer edit. So I'm checking the citation. Um, we had four there. And, and remember, as I keep going, OK, we have two on this page. I'm kind of looking for, is there enough information? Two or three citations per page probably is enough information. Um, and I'm looking and seeing how many distinctly different sources do we have, right? Um, because when I get down to that work cited, I have to have enough sources. Um, okay, so I'm seeing, again, a good variety of sources. Um, the mistake that I called out with not having the names is consistent. So at least I know uh, when I give feedback to this student, they have a consistent mistake that they're making all of the time. That's a relatively easy thing to go back and fix, right? Um, so, uh, I mean, nobody should make that mistake now that I'm making this video. Um, again, I'm seeing a number of different sources. I'm not even to the point where I'm reading the paper yet, right? I'm just checking all of this. And look at how many sources. We're on page 8 and we're at 22. So that's pretty good. This is a student who's using uh, the appropriate number of sources uh, and with good variety and they're being cited all the time. Uh, I can even forgive, like, this is a page without any sources. I can forgive that because we're already, what, we're close to 30 already. Um, 25, 26. All right, so we're at 26 sources uh, being used, right? And did I see these? So now I'm looking at your works cited page. Well, I'm pretty sure I saw this um, no, psychology wiki is maybe okay. Um, you know, did I see Lauren Baldwin? So this is where, like, I wish I had seen the name because this would be pretty easy for me to look at. I'm pretty sure I saw sexual misconduct laws, charges, and defenses. And what am I going to do? I'm going to I'm going to go back now. Fortunately, it's right there. Um, so if I have any questions, I'm going to go back to the paper and say, was that in there? Americans' views on dating and relationships. Let's see, was that in there? I guess I could hit Control F and do that. But this is kind of what I do, right? I kind of go through and I make sure. Um, is there a proper use of these sources? Um, have they been, see, there we go. So uh, these are matching up, right? This should match up. So what are what's going to happen is if, for example, now I definitely remember seeing defining toxic relationships, but if this student had put this source in here in a works cited page and it was not in the paper, this is an error, right? This is actually a pretty significant error because it's telling me that this information is up in the paper somewhere, but the, the student hasn't called it out, okay? 
Uh, now, maybe the opposite has happened. Maybe they decided not to use the source, but it's still here. But I, as the reader, am not sure, and that creates a citation error, right? So that's one way to create a citation error. There's a cite in here that is not in the paper. Another way to create a citation error, there's a cite in the paper that's not in the Works Cited page, okay? Um, I want to point out a couple other things. Nice and neat, right? We have a hanging indent. Okay, this is a student who's figured out how to use tab and enter successfully. Um, we don't need all these lines. Uh, I can clearly see that this is um, uh, alphabetized. Again, one of the reasons I want the first piece of information in your citation, because it's actually harder for me to figure out uh, this information. It takes me a couple more minutes. Um, to go, th go through and comb all of that uh, because you're not following all of the rules. Um, but you can tell there are some rules I'm going to be like, okay, they, they understand the whole general concept, and there are going to be some rules where it's like, what is going on? This person doesn't understand the whole general concept. Okay, And this is generally what you should look like. I can actually count these up, uh, which I think I did before this presentation, uh, and I counted something like 19 sources. So just from there, um, the student has used 26 citations. Okay, that, that probably fits, right? Whereas if there were 19 sources and 18 citations, I automatically know you've messed one up. Um, so you have to be really vigilant about these citations, uh, and it's just something I am consistently not seeing from you guys, whether it's... Uh, you know, in the Gatsby paper or now in rough drafts of Disa Logoi or something else. So this is a big thing that you want to fix and you want to go through peer edits to make sure that you're doing everything correctly.